Okay. So walking in like the parking lot entrance where there's handicap parking. Um, right to the to the right here is our bathroom. It's pretty good size. And then the other room here is our office. Um, it's a little like eight by eight office. And then what you see right when you enter is the pharmacy transaction transaction counter. So it's right here. And then this little wall right here is uh, four and a half foot tall. And that's where Bridget and I will be checking prescriptions. We'll be passing them through on a little bar right here when they're done. So you'll see like two different counters. And then up there, right about there, all the way over and attaching to that wall over there is where that lattice goes that we made. Um, so behind here, you'll see, you'll have a, uh, a row of narrower cabinets where the registers will sit. And right here is where we'll hang prescriptions. That and inside the cabinets down there will have bars as well. And then this is the pharmacy counter. So again, this is where we're passing through prescriptions that are done. And our refrigerator is gonna be built into this side right here for um, completed refrigeration prescriptions. And all this right here is just a half wall above the counter um, where we will be like hanging pegboard and printers and phones and things. But what you're looking at right now is where we'll be filling prescriptions. So me and Bridget, Bridget will check prescriptions right here. And then there'll be a filling station in this corner with baskets right here with vials and stuff. And a filling station on this little wall right here as well. So there'll be two. This is where our data entry and drop off will be. So there's a little half wall here where a patient can come up and drop off and talk with the te technician about you know coming to front range and being a patient and also getting it started. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, should be standing right here as a brand new patient at front range. And back here will be all our drug shelves. There'll be cabinets right there for the Parada that will go on wheels in front of the electrical outlet box or the uh, breaker box. And then back here is where the sink will be. So there'll be a, a row of counters here and a refrigerator in the corner. So yeah, and then this is our break room. So there'll be a table here, a locker system mounted on this wall that we picked out. Um, refrigerator, this is a temporary sink installed for our board inspection because we'll do whatever it takes. Um, there'll be open shelving on top, like in my apartment, and there will be um, like just a row of cabinets at the bottom with the sink in the middle. And this is our immunization room, pharmacist entrance. This door is going away. It will become a glass panel with aluminum bottom. Um, this wall will be furred and drywalled as well. And this is where we will give immunizations, travel vaccines, um, do consultations, etc. So this entrance from the pharmacist here and this lift is parked in the entrance of the patient. Um, and there'll be a little couch in this corner with a little lamp right here. And there'll be a chair in this corner right here and um, an immunization table with our stuff on top. And then um, Bridget's boyfriend, Josh, is gonna paint a mural that goes on that wall of mountains. It's gonna be beautiful. So if you walk out this way, what I'm pointing at now is the like lower sunken entrance. It's definitely the most beautiful way to look at the pharmacy, but nobody's gonna use this entrance unless you're on foot. Um, because there's the grocery store right here, the apartments above. Um, Definitely use that grocery store a lot, and there's a lot of foot traffic through here. And you go walk, you have to walk that way to get to the restaurants from the parking lot over here. So you walk by it, but I bet most people enter from the parking lot entrance. So what you're seeing now is just what it looks like from over here. So again, the lattice is gonna attach up there, right where that air conditioner is, and wrap all the way around, attach the wall over there. This concrete wall is staying, staying rough concrete. Um, there'll be a custom shelf that Bridget and I are about to start building on that wall. And then there'll be normal like retail gondola shelving right here with like some twisty towers and little nesting tables on this wall right here. Um, but what you're looking at right here is the outside of the immunization room. So there's gonna be an L bench right here for seating. Um, and there will be like a wall. We're gonna use like these little ledges and use Scrabble tiles to talk about what kind of vaccines we can give, what kind of services happen in the room, just so people have something to read and look at and learn more about us. This concrete staying, this pole's getting wrapped in drywall as well as that one. 
and this entire wall from that corner all the way to here is getting a six foot gondola shelf, six foot tall gondola shelf. And then there's gonna be a big rug here between the two columns with a nesting, a set of tables just like over there on top. And over here where this lift is, it's gonna be another little vignette for our seating. So there'll be two nicer chairs with a coffee table in the middle, all sitting on a rug. Um, and right here is where the mountain wood art is gonna go. So walls are like a really, really pale light green, almost white. This wall is a darker green. This wall is the same green as the, um, as the, uh, the main walls. And uh, our floors are hardwood. We have some tile going in as well. I think it's gonna be really warm and inviting. But yeah, that is front range.